Antifa professor who tweeted about dead cops used a fetish website. And boy, do you should check out what he's... Uh, I'm going to put a photo up here. Just check out what his interests are. Uh, including, actually... Well, we'll get to that all in a sec. Anyway. The fetish website profile of the Antifa professor who drew controversy early this year for tweeting about dead cops has been revealed. Michael Larson's, Larson's profile on FetLife describes his interest in bondage and his desire to chase unrealized kinks. It was active seven months ago, long before Larson's faced scrutiny from the public and the New York Mayor Bill Deny Basin over a controversial tweet which he read, Some of you might think it sucks being an anti-fascist teacher at John Jay College, but I think it's a privilege to teach future dead cops. The 29-year-old went in hiding after receiving death threats. Well, I don't agree with the death threats, but anyway. Writing under the name Fellow Space Cadet, <laughs> that's kind of ironic, Larson said he was looking for a play partner and mentor. He said he was dominant over his recent partner, but only because they'd requested him to be. Adding, I think it in itself is innocent of my subby, submissive side. Yeah, you're a fucking clock, aren't you? In the list of interests, he said he was curious about calling my subs dirty fascist lapdog, lapdog whores and was open to group sex. He proudly characterized himself as an antichrist who lived in New Jersey and said that while writing his profile, he was in dissertation hell. I was just trying to be a normal ass antichrist in a PhD limbo but then I got myself a poly sub, so here I am, I guess. Now I'm stuck in this rabbit hole, chasing better consent practices and unrealized kinks. Some of the photos on this website are gold, but we'll get to that. Larson's described himself as a pansexual, meaning he has no limit to gender or the sexuality, and polymorph, meaning he takes multiple partners at once. He admits that later he was in theory rather than practice. Larson's was suspended from John Jay College early this month over his controversial tweets. On t August 23rd he wrote, some of you might think it sucks being an anti-fascist teacher at John Jay College, but I think it's a privilege to teach future dead cops. They come into the light after he appeared on Tarka Colson tonight to discuss his appearance at an Antifa event. After seeing the tweets, New York City Mayor Bill de Blas I might be mispronouncing, slammed the man and called him to be fired. New York City won't stand for the vile anti-police rhetoric of Michael Larson's and neither should John Jay College, he said. Unrepenting Larson's responded by pointing out that de Basco's track for letting down the NYPD and accusing him of infringing his free speech. Yeah, okay. So, okay. I'm not going to touch the whole tweets because they're just kind of disgusting. Look, at, yes, at the end of the day, he has his right to freedom of speech. And obviously this is the best, this is the best example of it. Some fucking wanker gets on there, does his little freedom of speech thing, and everybody makes fun of him. That's why I love freedom of speech. As for this profile, guys, you just need to read some of these kinks that he has. Like mummification, receiving, pegging, receiving, like suspension bondage, receiving, waterboarding, receiving. This guy has some serious issues when it comes to to himself and to his yeah. This guy's fucked up. But guys, I I don't know where to leave this video. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. Did you find this video funny? Did you did you feel sorry for this guy? If this video has been helpful, please smack a like if you're new to the channel. Welcome and subscribe. And apart from that, guys, I'm going to go and check out Fat Life. Have a great day and enjoy.